hi everyone in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to crochet a shrug or a sleeve however you want to call it so let's get started you will be needing a yarn yeah i'm using this brand each one of it weighs 40 gram so i use three of it for this project since the strands are tiny i'm going to be doubling the strands to make it thicker and you can use a worsted weight yarn for your project and if, when you are using a worsted weight yarn you don't need to double your strand but if you are using this particular brand i'm using here or any yarn that has this strand then you you double the strand and we'll be needing a 5.5 millimeter hook a 6.0 millimeter hook and also we'll be needing a 4.5 millimeter hook and we we'll also need a tape and also a scissors so we'll be making a slip knot and i'm starting with the 4.5 millimeter hook the measurement of my upper boss was 34 and half of it will give me 17.5 so you are going to be making a chain of this length and must be in a group of four so you make sure you are counting as you go in total this is the length i'm working with 17 and a half and i made 76 chain stitches in total now we'll proceed to turning it and then you place a stitch marker on the last chain to make things easier and then from the place you place a stitch marker you count one two three four and on the fourth one you place another stitch marker we'll chain seven this chain seven is called the turning chain so you make one two three four five six seven after that, you make a triple crochet into this one here, this second stitch marker here. This is how I'm making a triple crochet. You pull through one, and then you pull through two, and then you pull through two. This is how to make my own triple crochet and then you chain three and you make a triple crochet now from this place that you made a triple crochet you count one you now count this stitch here you count from here one two three and four on that four stitch you make a triple crochet pull through one pull through two and you pull through two so this is how you continue you make another three chains one two three you yarn over you count look at how i'm counting it's one two three and then the fourth one you place your hook and make a triple crochet making a triple crochet you pull through one you pull through two and you pull through two again so you chain three again and you continue this process on and on and i'll meet you at the end of this row so i'm approaching the last one you chain three and you continue one two three and the fourth one is the last chain stitch so if you did your math correctly it will give you exactly like this so we've come to the end of um row one now for row two you are going to be making seven chain stitches one two three four five six seven you turn your work and then you make a triple crochet 
now on top of the triple crochet pull two one pull two two pull two two make chain three again on top of the treble crochet you pull two one pull two two and pull two two you make a chain stitch again and you go to the top of your treble crochet and repeat the same process and you are going to be doing this till you get to the end of the row this is the ending so you make a chain three you turn your work like this and count one two three four on the fourth one you make your triple crochet so we've come to the end of row two now for row three you chain seven And you turn your work and you continue and we'll continue like that this is how we are going to be continuing this project until you get your desired length so after crocheting the length of your shrug you are going to replicate that same thing you did on your second piece after that you are going to be joining the two pieces together and this is how to join now for you to know the front of your shrug you check it the the first chain you made one of them will be like this like a weaving hair weaving and the other one will Will not look like an air weaving so the one that is looking like a air weaving is the front and the one that is not looking like that is the back so you are going to be placing the front to the front as you can see like this the front here is facing the front joining it you are going to place the two pieces on your body and see how you like the shrug to be on you anyhow you want the neckline to be like you examine it in the mirror if you want it to be open shoulder you also check how many lengths you are going to be leaving if you want it to cover all your neck just like i want mine you also count how many you be leaving in your mirror remember we are working front to front so don't make the mistake front to front and we are working with the first chain the first set of chain only so the first thing you need to do is to make a knot by tying the your yarn together after that you place your hook inside a chain here and inside a chain here You make a chain one and you place your hook there on the same hole and make a single crochet now on the next hole you repeat the same thing go to the next one here and you make a single crochet and you go to the next hole here If the next hole is on the bone of that on the triple crochet you go to the triple crochet here and also make a single crochet you go to the next hole here again make sure you don't grab just one loop if you are working with a double strand make sure you you grab two strand each time you place your hook and then on the next one here and then you make a single crochet to the bone and to the bone of the triple crochet 
so far what we have been doing is we'll be making two single crochet one on the bone two single crochet and one on the bone so you repeat that sequence till you do the length of um, your joining space mine i'm joining one two three four five holes together so i'm going to repeat this process till i get to the end so this one two three four five so you chain one and you cut out your yarn and you weave in your ends So you repeat the exact same process you did here on the other hand. So after repeating that for both sides, this is how both of them is looking. And this is the space I want for my neck. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to be making our sleeves. So we are going to be working with the front side of the shrug. So the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to be tying our knots. After that has been done, you place your hook into the first chain here. And into the first chain in the other side. And you make a chain one after that has been done you make seven chain one two three four five six seven and on the next line here you make a treble crochet then you chain three one two three and go to the next line you make a triple crochet and you chain three and the next line you make a triple crochet three you repeat the process like this and i'll meet you when i'm here so this is this is the last row here so you make a chain three this is beginning chain one you count one two three four and then on the fourth one there you place your hook and make a slip stitch so this is how it's looking so it's looking like the rest then starting the next row you make seven chains and then you make triple crochet into the next line you make three chains and then you repeat that till you get to the joining So you chain three here and you count from here again notice how i'm keeping my chain to count one two three and on the fourth one you place your hook and make a slip knot a slip stitch now you are going to chain seven again and you 
continue the process on and on i'm going to repeat it one last time so you'll be able to understand the sequence one two three four place your hook and you make a slip stitch this is the joining and also the pattern of how you'll be continuing your sleeve and this is how i got my flares done so i've already done the second part down so in order to make it easier for me to explain now this is the first the starting now this is the starting i used my 4.5 millimeter hook for row one two three four five six then i stopped there and then i switched to using 5.5 millimeter hook to making one two three four five six seven 8 9 10 11 12 then i started using 6.0 millimeter hook to make row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then i ended it with a single crochet and i'm going to show you when i'm done with the other end so basically we are going to be making six rows with 4.5 millimeter hook 12 rows with with a um, 5.5 millimeter hook and then 12 rows again with a 6.0 millimeter hook and so i've successfully reached the end of the um of the sleeves i made 30 rows in total and this is how to join so i've gone back to my 4.5 millimeter hook and i'm going to just chain one and then i make a single crochet into all the stitches So this is what you are going to be continuing all round and you do this and i'll meet you at the end of the row now i'm approaching the ending part of it On this chain one space you make a slip stitch just like this and you chain one and you cut out your yarn this is how the ends of the clothes is looking and we are done i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're able to do this shrug all by yourself and i really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up because it took a whole lot of effort to film it and kindly subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on content like this see you next time bye